Hello folks, this is Gilroy3200 speaking playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And now that I have the passcode to get to Don Piana, let us activate this passcode. Yeah. Aw, oh, thanks, sugar. Yeah, I know, I'm such a good sugar. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister, what's your favorite color? Yellow. <laughs> oh, she said, what's your favorite cat color? I don't know. What's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh. Well, you checked out. You know the password. Um, so you must be an acquaintance of Don Piana. Good for you. Why is there a boo that's dressed all like that? That's kind of creepy. She has cat ears and a bow tie, man. You can go through the door. Go, with, go on with your bad self. You know what? I'm actually going to use the, the mushroom. <laughs> uh, cause Mario actually has. Oh no, it's flurry. Oh fine, you can eat. You can eat the dried mushroom. Yeah, heal that one damage. <laughs> All right, time to meet Don Piano. Now you get to see the all-powerful Don Piano at work. Hey, this is the office of the Piano Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. If you got no business, you scram a lamb. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out and quick or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now to me, that's funny. You stand a comedian. No, you gotta be. You, oughta, you got some nerve asking me, Don Piano. For some ticket, I make crying babies weep. You know what I should run this bum out the rail, boss? Look at him, what a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You're just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came here to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough them up, you got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for a ticket, Blimp. <laughs> Out with it. What's that? You wanna help some broad who got herself kidnapped? And you tell rest of you's dame you are collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those in that legend about that ancient treasure? Finny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue, this... Don't listen to that lout! The treasure is real as I am! Everybody, just shut it! Just shut it! I don't care if that treasure is real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you got your blimp tick. Sound fair? I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy, it's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, and it wasn't long, too long ago that they did. They ought to be somewhere nearby. You gotta find my daughter Francesca and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you're unable to, do, to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly. And with what is known as extreme prejudice. Okay, well, we don't like this guy. We, we, we can do this for you, man. We can do this. Quiet, you. It's because you lugs can't find it that it's got to swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Yeah, I think we got it loud and clear, boss. Yeah, you the boss, boss. Good, I'm glad we're all full understanding now. So it's settled, eh? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look- Wow, well, okay, that's a specific description of them. Oh, look at that. She has a flower on top of a tree. Oh, wow, that was a weird zoom in. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck right run terrible. Oh, that sounds like a very veiled threat. <laughs> let's let's find this daughter right now before we get screwed over. 
And I know exactly where she is because I've played this game so many times. Unfortunately, I didn't remember what the code was to enter Don Piana in the first place. But I do remember where Francesca and Frankie are. There's, uh, they's at the harbors waiting for our ships to set sails. But they never gonna set sails because I'm gonna si I'm gonna find them and I'm gonna detain them for fi for following their their hearts and eloping towards some sort of open medium. But they're never gonna elope. I'm gonna turn them in like a snitches because snitches don't get stitches in this game. Snitches get blimp tickets. There they are. <laughs> hey, hey, back off, you creep. You want? You want something, or you just like slidling up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us with him. Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know. The boat's coming any minute. Dollface. Maybe we ought to head back and try and talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know he'll just do what we if we do that? Francesca, baby doll. If we can just talk calm like with the boss you'll understand oh frankie my frankie don't you love me of course i love you sugar cookie more than anything in the world well, let's go frankie let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to but butter biscuit they already found us we can't keep running forever we can frankie the more you try and put out our flames of love the harder they burn and until i marry you no one will extinguish these flames of passion i can't do a high voice anymore my throat hurts Uh... No, I need that ticket! I wouldn't go with you, never! I won't move from the spot! No, bug up, I'm not going anywhere with you! Oh, what am I gonna do with this crazy dame? Oh, well, I did what I had to, so now I'm gonna snitch on, on them, and, uh, we'll see if I can get my ticket. Oh yeah, by the way... Hey, you're Mario, right? I'm a rat. I'm a rat standing on its hind legs. You wanna make an investment, Mario? I lived my life hoping to get rich quick and now my chance has come. Could you please help me? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much, you won't regret it. Okay. Alright, thanks, bud. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> thanks for taking my money. I have to say something that Don Pienta fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a ter run of terrible love. That'd be unfortunate. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I'm dealing with it, man. I'm trying. I mean, I have to snitch on them because I need my ticket. Because I need to save the world. I don't care about their love. Their love can take a backseat to my saving the world, I think. I think anything can take a backseat to saving the world, in my opinion. Oh god, kids these days don't know what a mustachioed plumber man has to go through every single day. Have to save the world by saving a princess from whatever peril she's in. Maybe it's from a Koopa King, maybe it's from some ex not bastards. But it's a tough life, you know? Sometimes I do need to relax. Okay, well there you go, I have to ride on them. Bye. Look who's back. The Pophobia Mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? So give what you got. You know the whereabouts of these two runsaways. Oh, is that true? I appreciate the Daddy, wait! Yeah, that was gonna happen regardless of what I picked, so there you go. Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. Frankie, so you're back. Ah, oh, you, you came and hung your head low. You, you came back with your tail running in between your legs? Yeah, that's what I thought. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should have loved. It was me! But Frankie said no. We should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you're doing to me. I deserve, deserve it all for being disloyal, but you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. Don't do anything to her. No, I'm the bad one. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. Boss, no, it's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame. Right here. Daddy! Boss! <laughs> He's mad. Yarg. I'm not gonna scream it. My throat really hurts. <laughs> Enough! Quiet! Both of yous! Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used to you used up your last favor long ago. 
And you, Frankie! You were like a son to me! This is how you pay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel you- I feel such disappointment in you. It's like a poison shroom in my gut! Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight! Both of yous! I don't care where, just go! That's what you expect me to say? Well, that's what I'm saying! Go! Do what you want, even if it means getting married! Oh, Daddy! Dad! I mean... Boss! Thank you so much, Daddy! Thank you for your blessing! Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman! I promise you, she'll wait for- she'll want for nothing! Enough already! Just go! Go! <laughs> Francesca, seeing this happy- seeing you this happy makes me happy too! Congrats to the both of yous! Yeah, this is great! It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy! Farewell, and thank you! Yeah, can I have my ticket now? Hmm. Well, you did find my daughter, so, uh... And you got her to come back here, so I'm very eternally grateful. But I'll never say that, because I'm a... I'm a Don. I can't say smushy stuff like that, man. I gotta keep a... I have a reputation to uphold. I gotta be tough, intimidating. I gotta say stuff in an Italian accent. They knows where they's coming from, so... Here you go. You can have my blimp ticket. Thank God. Who knows? That guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for that job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. Okay. I will never come back. But this will be the last time I come back. Hey, I'm back! <laughs> Hurry up and scram a lamb. Good luck finding that dame. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to rescue a dame from certain doom. So now that I have my blimp ticket, after all that Italian... Uh, <laughs> all that Italian negotiating... My, my, it's time to go to Dutzville. Oh, god damn it. Fine, I'll read my email. Uh, here. Coopley, how's life? Mario, Coops, how are you, my boys? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could send messages, because you're an old geezer. I'm doing great, drinking spring water, picking flowers, polishing my shell. The town seemed so boring ten years ago, but now I see the world differently. I bet you'll like Pedalburg more than you're used to it. Then whatever. So where are you headed next? I want you to see the wide open world sun. It'll be good for you, but don't go too past the front door. Coopley. Look at that, look at that shell. Look at that beard and that goatee. It makes me wonder how he can polish his own shell. He probably has help from Koopy Koop. How you dare say. Alright, let's save. And yes, I- No, don't save again, Mario. And yes, I will go to Glitzville in this video. Yeah, just give him the whole boarding pass, jeez. Hey, get out of my way, Cheek Cheek. Yeah, my new there's a star piece there. Yeah, it's in the background, which is nice. And now the music gets a lot, a lot uh, calmer. Er, 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 er. Yeah, I cannot make this a lot wordier. Look at that cheap, cheap fly. Cheap cheeps can fly. You know the old singing. Cheap cheeps fly, the world's dead. And now a cheap cheap is flying. And the white screen appears to show this. The curtain screen opening for chapter three of Glitz and Glory. I know the damn title, I already know the title. I'm just gonna listen to the music because it's a lot of comforting music and I feel like doing some zen moment. So, enjoy the music!
Okay. Yeah, look at that flying city that I'm going to. How come the flying city keeps moving, man? I'll never be able to catch it because it keeps moving out of my sight. It's like a dog trying to chase its tail, man. How will I ever get there? This is how I'll get there. Like this. I'm currently flying. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at all those balloons fly. It's a balloon of it's a balloon againza. Oh my god. My god, where do those balloons go? <laughs> That's a lot of wasteful balloons going into the atmosphere, man. That's not good. But here we are! The site of the chapter 3 story, Blitzville Central. Blitzville. <laughs> there you go. My my, Glitzville! I heard that the Glitz Pit is just full of brawny brawls. I must admit, the prospect of some hurly burly gets me a touch peaked. Oh my, look at all this souvenir shops and hot dog stand and a chain chomp overlooking us. That's a bit creepy. Now darling, let's just find the crystal star, hmm? How you doing, Mr. Chi Chi? Oh, I don't want to go back to Roport yet, thanks. Thank you very much. I really much appreciate your service. Hey, how you doing? Haven't seen your face around, and I know I'd remember a stash like that. Listen, guy, if you want to see a match, head on inside. That's a glitz pit. Oh my, that's a lot of, uh... Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's hit that with my butt. Oh my, what is this staircase going? Yeah, that's a nice staircase. Woo! Oh my, this guy looks intimidating. He, he reminds me of a... Of a tougher foghorn leghorn. <laughs> oh my. Woohoo! Let's fly across Glitzville! Woo! Woo! Glitzville! Glitzville! Yeah! Woo! I'm on top of the hot dog stand! Who wants some hot dogs? Hey, how you doing? Hello there, you customer! The aroma of yum in the air is the specialty of Glitzville, Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only 10 coins for one. You buy one? Sure. I have enough money. Do I actually have it? Oh, I do. Oh, thank God. Oh, look at that. 5 HP and 5 FP. That's a good hot dog. Hey, hello. Oh, look. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that, but okay, fine. <laughs> I didn't know there was a crystal star. I mean, a... I didn't know there was a star piece there. Oh, hello. Nope, I'm just here to buy. Point swap. Ooh. R r okay. Yeah. Attacks all ground bound. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I'll, I'll save my items, because I only have three more slots left, so... Yeah. Blitzville hangs in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. <laughs> I think yeah, I, I think I know why, Mr. Tough Likey Two. I also race this Likey Two in Mario Kart 8, so this is fun. Also, I race this Toadette, so <laughs> this is great. This is great. Boy, I envy you. I I'm dying to ride that thing, but air travel makes me yak. <laughs> you mean like a yak? It makes you yak like a yak. Ain't there a tiny tiny bomb? Daddy, I'm hungry. I want to eat a hot dog right now. Right now! So this is Glitzville. Not a bad place, if a little on the twarty side. Perhaps if I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyer of that hot dog stand. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build a vacation home here. Oh, delightful. Hey, look at me. I'm a hot dog. I'm a hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog man. I want to be a hot dog man. Yeah. My dream was always to be a hot dog, and now that dream has come true today. Yeah, what the blip? I can't get that. Mario's too short. Oh, poo. Oh, well, there's, a, uh, there's an in coupon there, but I don't want to go into the inn. 
Hey there. What are you doing? Hello. That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before. I know it. Yes, Mario. This is definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. Hey there. Welcome. Our doors are always open for Thirsty Fight fans. Yeah, how am I supposed to grab a drink? Today's main event won't rule! I'm betting on Rockhawk, no matter who's fighting him! Uh, you don't look very familiar. You want vacation? Me? I'm just a likey who digs combat sports. Yeah. And throwing sp uh, throwing, throwing, uh, throwing spinies at everybody. <laughs> That's what I like to do. Okay, well, uh, I guess uh, we're going inside now. I've talked to everybody outside. Bye everybody on the outside! 